this broadcast signing now. My group, which is with two, we're talking on understanding regulatory bodies, their role, their challenges, and their capabilities. These regulatory bodies are BON, Broadcast Organization of Nigeria, APCON, Advertising Practitioner Council of Nigeria, NBC, National Broadcasting Commission, which are agencies are government organizations that regulate the affairs of marketers, firms, private sectors, and government organizations. They help in decision making, they help to solve controversies, they help in they help to promote uh, they help to promote consumers interest and quality progress. Thank you. Hello, I am Omar from Akago News and I'll be talking about the synopsis on the regulatory influence and the electronic media regulation. The regulatory influence are uh, institutions, governments and non-governmental that regulate broadcast cable television and telephone. Now, the Federal Radio Commission was established because the radio stations in the United States could get radio licenses easily from the Secretary of Commerce because of the Wireless Ship Act of 1910. Now, the Federal Radio Commission of 1912 was established in order to regulate radio stations. But then after a year, this failed, and then the Congress had to establish the Federal Communications Commission of 1934. Now this agency was independent of the government, and they had to regulate radio stations and television, as television was just coming out at that time. Now, they used this Federal Communications Commission Act for, of 1934 for 62 years. In 1966, the Federal Communications Commission passed a new Telecommunication Act, which is being used up to now. Now, the, this agency regulates and promotes competition. They also reduce regulation and try to make sure that this broadcast station provides better services to customers. Also, I'll be diving into the, this FCC and broadcasting. The FCC gives license, licenses to broadcast station by checking out the following. V-chip requirements. Before a radio station can renew their licenses again, they make sure, or a TV station, they make sure that they input V chip into their television or radio in order for parents to stop certain kind of certain kind of program that they feel is not meant for their children. They also renew licenses for radio station, and also they give the operating and technical requirements that radio and TV should abide by. Now I'm talking. I'm going to talk about FCC and programming policies. Now, the FCC does not give station the kind of program they should run, but like they give them rules on the kind of program that they should show on their different platforms. Number one is the children TV program. The FCC makes sure that, make sure that at certain hours, these different stations must show children's program for a limited time. They are giving the hours they should you know, show children's program in a week. Another one is obscenity. They make sure that radio station and TV station do not show obscene view to the public. Also, they make sure that they don't broadcast OAPs. That means something that they might broadcast that will put people into panic, that feeling they are in danger. And another one is equal time provision. During political advertising or during political election, they make sure that all radio stations or all TV stations give equal time to every legal political aspirant, the same uh, time slot. Then another one is public file. They make sure that all broadcast stations have a public file that contains documents. And then these public files are give, um, this public file accessible to anybody, any public official that needs it during working hours, either physically or by phone call. The Federal Communications Commission, FCC, and Cable Television. 
Now, the Federal Communications Commission regulates broadcasting, cable, and telecommunication industries. They do not give license to cable television. Instead, licenses are given to cable television. If a franchise is given to cable television from governmental authorities. Now, this license that was given was perceived to be monopolistic in nature. Hence, the 1996 Telecommunication Act was brought up and then the following provisions were made. There was um, the regulation of rate. Now, the broadcasters were made to pick between a must, a must take, a must carry or a retransmission constant. Now, there was provision for ownership, there was network exclusivity and also program access channel on all for all the public. Aside this, there are other federal departments and agencies that influence regulatory actions. One of them is the Department of, Just of Justice, which is DOJ. Through this and their antitrust division, they are concerned with the anti-competitive practices in the American industries and they also prosecute violators of the um, Communications Act. Also, we have um, the National Communication and Information Administration. They serve primarily to advise the President on communication issues. And aside this, we have um, some informal regulatory forces that equally assist and go beyond the governmental organizations. We have them as um, the self-regulation, the, the self-regulation, the press, and the consumers group. Now, in this consumers group, it is said that the Act of 19, the Communication Act of 1934, established the importance of serving the public interest. The public has the right to participate in regulatory proceedings. Also, in the self-regulation, broadcasters and cable operations take the con conservative position regarding materials that could mean or deem controversial or cause public concerns, meaning that they really have to scrutinize materials before they are published. to welcome you back once again to today's broadcast seminar. I am Mekoli doing the subtopic NBC, National Broadcasting Commission. We are going to look at its structures, we are going to talk about the challenges they face and the rules they played. The NBC, National Broadcasting Commission, is a corporate body which was established by the federal government of Nigeria in the 1992 by the then military Governor, military head of state, General Babangida. This corporate body has been given the power of succession, the ability to sue and be sued by others. This body has a corporate structure which includes the chairman, the director general, and the board of men. The chairman, this is an individual who heads the commission. He provides guidance and leadership to the whole members of the board. Then the Director General. This is one who is responsible for the day-to-day -day administration and implementation of policies. Then the Board of Members. This Board of Members are individually selected experts by the federal government. They choose experts from different fields, diverse fields of study, ranging from law, business, social sciences, administration, um, security, state security, and so on. The current chairman of NBC, National Broadcasting Commission, is headed by Bashia Olarenwa, while the director general, the current director general, is Belushi. The NBC, National Broadcasting Commission, has the primary aim of promoting and regulating broadcasting services in the country, Nigeria. They have the role of providing sanctions, giving out licenses to broadcasting companies and renewal of those licenses. The broadcasting companies meet up to the standard of broadcasting in Nigeria. Thank you. Good day, everyone. My name is 
with the Deborah Chizaram. We're going to be talking about NBC, the National Broadcasting Commission. So basically, in living countries, democracy is majorly practiced just so that people are free to express themselves, their opinions, their beliefs, without any form of interference. Particularly, sure. there are several cases that this has majorly occurred. I mean, these bodies are allowed to give sanctions to broadcast stations that violate any rules that go against the code of the Nigerian Broadcasting Commission. For example, the case was with Arise TV, where the Director General of the NBC, Balarabe Ilila, gave a warning in a letter to the CEO of Arise TV. This letter talked about basically the preponderance of derogatory and incendiary remarks because it was during the election period that the NBC sanctioned Channel City, a very, very popular broadcast station in Nigeria. Sanctioned it because of the imperative of fair hearing during a show during the 2020 presidential election period. So now, it's important to note that the NBC has the right and duty to regulate broadcasting in Nigeria to ensure adherence to professionalism and ethical practice. But the process, therefore, must also appear to be fair, seamless, and transparent. If not, people are going to see it as a body that confers injustice. Thank you. My name is Fabo Nadi Ike, and I will briefly explain what BON, which is Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria, is. So firstly, BON was established and founded in 1973 with the aim to coordinate all other broadcasting services and through thereby creating a united voice for broadcasting. promote one voice in Nigeria broadcasting industry. Firstly, BORN was used in 1973 in the All African Games held in Nigeria to coordinate broadcasting services in Nigeria to air that event. Sometimes people assume the whole of BON to be that of NBC, but that is where the is. BON basically is a body. body that create those policies. They make those policies, they implement them, they persecute, they, you know, they find offenders. But BON are the ones that these policies are wired to or send or uh, these policies are obliged, they are obligated to these policies for say. So there's this, for example, in August 5, 5th of 2023, Laya Mohammed, the Minister of Information and the National Broadcasting Commission, the NPC, they unveiled a renewed code of conduct, a, a, renew, a renewed broadcasting code, sorry, and it's brought up so many up uproars, especially from BON, the broadcasting organization of Nigeria, which comprises of different broadcast organizations, whether television, radio. The reviewed broadcasting code was done on politics, advertising, content, local content creation, um, convergence of emergency, the way they convert the emergency situation. So a lot of broadcasting industries were against the code because they feel democracy is being threatened, freedom of speech is being threatened in the internet space of Nigeria. Thank you. 
thereby, thereby maintaining ethics, journalistic ethics, codes of conduct in the industry. They also, all these activities are what the BON did. My name is Honoka Felix. I'm going to be talking about the characteristics of the broadcasting organization of Nigeria, BON. The broadcasting organization of Nigeria, BON, is an umbrella body for public and private broadcasting organizations in Nigeria, and I'll be listing a few of the characteristics below. The regulatory body is not a regulatory body, but it collaborates with regulatory agencies like the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to establish broadcasting standards and regulations in Nigeria. Two, membership. Bond consists of a number of organizations from both public and private sectors in the Nigeria broadcasting industry. It includes television, that is terrestrial and satellite, radio and online broadcasting stations. Representation. Bond represents the members' interests, promotes coordination and fosters collaboration among broadcasters. It serves as a voice for the Nigerian broadcasting industry advocating for its growth and development. Information sharing. Bond facilitates the exchange of information, ideas and best practices among its members. It organizes seminars, workshops and conferences to enhance knowledge skills and professionalism in the broadcasting sector. Number five, content promotion. Bond plays a huge role in promoting local content and Nigerian cultural values in broadcasting. It supports initiatives to enhance diversity, creativity, and equal and quality programming across various media platforms. Industry standards number six. Bond, in collaboration with the NBC, establishes and enforces broadcast standards in Nigeria. This includes guidelines on programming, advertising, technical specification, ethics and compliance with national laws and regulations. The number seven, broadcast advocacy. One engages in advocacy efforts to protect and promote the interests of its members and the broadcasting industry as a whole. It collaborates with relevant stakeholders to address challenges, lobby for favorable policies, and also support the growth of the sector. The last but not the least, partnership and collaboration. Bond collaborates with international broadcasting organizations and agencies for capacity building, knowledge sharing, and technological advancement in the Nigeria broadcasting industry. It's worth noting that the characteristics of Bond may evolve over time as the Nigeria broadcasting landscape continues to change. Advertisers Practitioners Council of Nigeria, APCON, was established by an Act of Parliament, number 55 of 1988. It has since undergone several amendments, um, 1992, 2007, 2004, the most recent is the 2022 Act. Now we have Advertisers Regulatory Council of Nigeria, APCON. The vision of Alcon is promoting responsible and ethical advertising and ethical advertising practice, um, acting as the conscience of the society and watchdog of the consumers, whilst maintaining the needs and interests of stakeholders of the um, Nigerian advertising um, industry. The vision and mission of Alcon informs its roles, which includes, uh, but not limited to the following. First, it sets the standard that has to be attained for those who are aspiring to become professional advertisers in Nigeria. They set exams, they give trainings, and those who are successful, they give trainings and set exams. Those who are successful at these exams are awarded certificates. They are also the ones who determine the value of advertisement. They determine, you know, what is worthy as per advertisement, what can be exposed to the general public. Why? 
happening actually this is also because the law states that the president of nigeria has the prerogative of appointing the chairman for APCON. and the law also states that the members of the state the, um, the website needs for the members of the governing council and how the council can be constituted but yet the government the president did nothing so this no chairman problem is actually a myth that's why it takes a long time to actually make approvals or setting regulations this is why the recently elected president of the association of the advertising agencies of nigeria aaan this is why he compared apcon without a council to be like a flying plane without a control tower in baba eko's words it is like the plane in baba eko's words the plane will crash now this is one major challenge that apcon has faced the second major challenge apcon has faced and is still facing is the inadequate funding up to date apart from the crisis of leadership apcon is suffering from inadequate funding which hinders the procurement of um, necessary tools such as the monitoring or logging machine, operational vehicles, and other necessary items. This inadequate, inadequate funding has actually stored a lot of things that could have been done better. Funding is a very big issue, a major challenge, because how do you send people out or try to make certain regulations without handing them the tools needed? So this is, these are two reasons why APCON is currently staggering. Thank you. I have everything we said by my group members. We can all agree that the Lagos play a crucial role in our society by helping to maintain order in our society. We help in decision making, we regulate consumers, firms and commercial organizations. Thank you for staying to the end of today's broadcast seminar. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.